Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm Obida Show 19. So we have, I believe, our last conquest map of the year, the Infinity Conquest map. Another one for the 11th inning program. So if you do this, you get 30 more program points for the program. But the goals capture eight territories, conquer the Marlin Stronghold, the Twin Stronghold, the Yankee Stronghold. Then you have to capture 45 territories, conquer the Mariner Stronghold, the Ranger Stronghold, the Dodger Stronghold and seven strongholds on the infinity map and then all the strongholds so pretty much just completing the map it's nothing crazy right there you don't have to do any steel fan phases unless you need no you don't you don't have to do any unless you're trying to do some extra stuff for whatever reason like play extra games but you don't need to do that and then the final goal is to capture all territories on the infinity map so with this map you can keep doing it and get the final reward which is a headliners pack bundle. You can't keep doing it and get like the hidden packs in this board, but if you keep completing the board, you will get a headliners pack bundle if you want to do that. So as far as the board goes, you know, it's pretty simple. You have 14 games in total, so quite a few games to play out and you can it's it's pretty much just going around in a circle pretty much. You know, there's nothing that you have to worry about. There is no really chokeholds or anything like that. Just keep going, follow the path, and you should be able to do that. There is some hidden packs in this board. I didn't mark them this time, but there was a finest pack, a ball and is a habit pack, a one of 30 diamond choice pack. There was a legends and flashback pack and some headliner packs and stuff like that and some show packs. So we will open up those packs too, but we got to complete this one so we can finally get our last 30 program points from this and get this bundle right here so that's pretty much what you get but like i said the board itself just follow the path you know nothing crazy i would skip some turns here and there just to get some reinforcements i think like the first few games i ended up playing on all-star and then i just played the rest of the games on veteran so that's the only thing if you want to have the advantage playing rookie or veteran then you can skip some extra turns to get those done so right now we had 1,359 program points. I didn't even know where we were at. So I think we unlocked a couple more things since the last program or the last time we opened up packs. So we should have the third inning program pack, a September monthly awards, a ball in is a habit. And I opened this finest pack the last time. This was at 1,200, I believe. So this should be 1,250, 1,300, and 1,350. We have three more left. And we know the last one is a 50-pack bundle. I mentioned that before. I don't know what these two are, but I don't think they're anything good either way. But we will probably have this done by the end of the week. So we'll open up that 50-pack bundle. But let's open up the packs that we do have now. See if we can get anything good. We definitely want to try getting something good. So we have two standard packs, two ball and is a habit, 13 show packs, a set four headliner, set six, set seven. We have an all-star game pack. This is also a part of the, the Infinity Conquest map. I don't think I mentioned that one. The Legends and Flashback, the finest set one. We have the one of 30, the third inning program. And I think this was just from, um, this was from ranked season. So let's open these up. Let's see if we can get some more diamonds, make some more stubs. I actually, well, if you guys have been watching, we've been working on the team builds, but we have a quite, uh, we have a good amount of stubs. I know you only see 16K, but I sold everything. We're hitting at like two mil right now. But we're just trying to buy some players for team build. So stub wise, we're doing pretty good. But the more we get, the better. So if we can get some more diamonds, that would be pretty nice. Get a goal right there, Taylor Rogers. Nothing special, but we definitely want to see some more goal players or some diamond players. Nothing in that pack right there. So none left in these show packs. Another bronze. I mean, I'm not even surprised with these packs because minus like the last pack opening where we did, where we actually got some diamonds. These normally don't hit for us. <laughs> these normally do not hit for us. Maybe the set packs will today, but normally like these regular packs, they're pretty trash. And that's what we've come to expect. Another silver right there, Zach Wheeler. So let's open up these last four. See if we get maybe something good. We get Blackman. Pretty weak right there. So last three, another bronze. Woo, look at all these bronze that we're getting. Getting a crazy amount of bronze. Another bronze right there. And then the last show pack. Is it going to be something good? Nope. We got the bronze. So set four, chance at Mazeroski or Arietta. See if we can hit one of those or just any diamond. No diamond right there. We get Billy Hamilton. 
Let's see what we get in this next one. And another silver. Billy Hamilton twice. Okay. Set six. Adam Jones or Bla Levin. I wouldn't mind Bla Actually, do I have Bla Levin? I don't think so. Doesn't even matter. We get Perez. Real nice right there. So set seven. We got Boggs or Grinky. Don't really care about either one because I think I have them. We did get a diamond though. We did get a diamond. Let's go. Is it going to be someone good? A lot of strikeouts right there. 2.89 ERA. Who this? Who this? Fenway. Who was that? Chris Sale? Regular Chris Sale right there? I don't think it goes for much. Yeah, we got Chris Sale. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's like 5K. But we did get a diamond. <laughs> we did get a diamond. So I ain't that disappointed, I guess. But he's going for a 5K. Yeah, so we we stay getting 5K players. It would have been nice if we got like Mookie or Trout. You know, because those guys actually go for something. So right here, it would be nice if we could get Chapman. That would be a nice pull if we get Chapman. Because he's pretty expensive. And let's flip it. Let's just flip it. Let's see what we get. We need a relief pitcher. 263 strikeouts. I feel like that's Bieber. Or it could be Castillo. I don't even know who this is, to be honest. Okay, it's the Reds. So it's Castillo. Which, he's not a bad card. He's not a bad card. Used him earlier in the year. I thought he was pretty solid. But it's not It's not good value-wise, stub-wise. Just another 5K player. But we got Luis Castillo, 92 overall, all-star card. It's all right. You know, like I said, nothing special. Another 5K, though. Another 5K. This is a long animation. Let's get it going. I'm just trying to open up these packs. <laughs> just trying to open up these packs. You've taken your sweet old time. So, so far, we made 10K. <sighs> not that good. Legends of flashbacks. I still want that Edwin Diaz, but we're not we're not hitting with that. We get, we stay getting the golds in this one too. That sucks. I feel like I always get Justin Bohr. Find a set. If we can get one of the rare guys, that would be nice. We know this is a diamond. I don't really care. We get Otani. Another 5k. We're up to 15k so far. So division series. This doesn't even matter. This is just a bat skin. So we'll flip that real quick. Probably sell that for this pack right here. Did I need one of these players? I don't think I need any of these players. Yeah, we don't we don't need none of these guys. I was thinking as far as like team build purposes go. But yeah, we can we can live without these guys. So we'll just take King Felix. Then September. Anything good right here? It is a guaranteed diamond. So it would be nice if we got. Yeah, I, I wanted a rare tier. Of course, we didn't get the rare tier. We get the basic one right there. So, value-wise, I'm pretty sure they're all hitting for the same. Unless no one has Brad Miller. We'll just take Brad Miller. Because he doesn't even have a sell now. So, maybe he's the most expensive. I don't really know. But we got like 20k so far. So, value-wise, this has not been that good. We'll open up the ball and it's a habit. See if we can get ourselves another diamond. Nope. Give me that Brantley. So, one more of these. And I don't think I've ever gotten a diamond from a ball and it's a habit. Pretty crazy. Uh, third inning program. We got Verlander, Ricky Henderson, or Alomar. I should have checked who's the most from the buy now portion. Because uh, Verlander is pretty expensive at 99. So is Alomar at 97. But I don't know if one of them is more expensive than the other when it comes to buy now. I feel like Alomar is more usable. I don't even think people really use Verlander like that. You know, Verlander gets hit pretty often. Ricky Henderson, he's all right, but I think like everyone would want Alomar. So if, you, if you're still working on this program, you're, you're going to get one of these for free. At least we're getting 97K. I'm going to take Alomar because uh, I feel like he's the best option right there. Definitely the best player in that set. So we'll take Alomar. And then we got the finest elite. Pretty sure this is a regular base tier. So yeah, these are all 5K guys. I, I saw one for 6K. Otani right there. Oh, we stay getting these weak packs. We never get, we never hit big. We never hit pig. Finest one. Oh, these are all the finest ones, huh? Yeah, these are all the finest guys. It would have been nice if we got like the super elite ones where it's Bellinger or something like that. That would have been another 80k or so. But for this one, it doesn't even matter who we take because <laughs> they're all the same. We're just gonna take Tatis. Why not? So uh pack opening wise what we make we probably made like 140 150k because i think we had four four diamonds and then the 100k player and alomar so i guess that's not bad you know it adds up to the value there also is a new event 
So this one is off season one rookie and veteran series players. You need 15 cumulative wins, three inning games on All Star. Not a bad, not a bad looking event. You have till January 16 to complete that. But let's take a look at the new card. So we did finally get a signature series, Paul Canerco. You know, I think he's like the only player that's been in the game that hasn't gotten a diamond card at the minimum. So I like that he finally got a diamond in a signature series. He has 96 contact versus righties, 111 versus lefties, 100 power versus righties, 106 versus lefties, 105 vision, bronze tier defense, 61 fielding, 61 arm strength, 35 speed. So only can play first base, but uh, he doesn't look bad. His hitting attributes don't look bad at all. Feel like he could be pretty solid. His vision's good. All his hitting attributes are pretty nice. It's just that fielding, but he's a first baseman. So it doesn't really matter. I think that's a solid card. Then we have Ralph Connor. So you get him for four vouchers. He has 104 contact versus righties, 98 versus lefties, 124 power versus righties, and 102 versus lefties, 115 vision. Also has bronze tier defense, 64 fielding, 65 arm strength, and 50 speed. So maybe kind of slow for the outfield. Left field primary can also play center and right field. Probably would stick him in left field. You know, if you are going to play, I mean, you have to play him in the outfield, but I feel like left field is best suited for him. His 94 card, I think it was 94. It was a 94 all-star, I believe. Wasn't a bad card. So I'm, I'm assuming this card is going to be pretty nice also. Uh, that's a weird picture. Why, why does this picture look like he's a lefty? <laughs> I don't know about that, but his hitting attributes do look pretty nice. Great power numbers, and I feel like he'll be pretty solid. So we'll use Canerco and Connor when we do like the uh, the White Sox and Pirates all time team builds. Then we got Cy Young, ninety nine overall. So he has one twenty five stamina, eighty eight hit per nine, eighty seven K per nine, one hundred nine walk per nine, and then he has a ninety seven fastball, a seventy curveball, seventy seven sweeping curve. 78 changeup and a 73 screwball. So pitch speed differential is obviously really big. 27 difference from the fastball and his slowest pitch with it, which is the 12 6 curveball. So I I don't know if he's gonna be effective though. I really don't because you either sit on fastball and then wait for the off speed, or you you sit on the off speed and just like don't even care about the fastball. I think that's the way you you approach Cy Young. And his per nines aren't really that good. They're not elite levels at 88 and 87. The 109 walk per nine is pretty good. So you should be able to locate those curveballs, especially in the lower hand corners if that's how you pitch. Like I pitch a lot of my off speeds low. So hitting those corners, obviously really important. I feel like you could do that with Cy Young, but his hit per nine and K per nine numbers aren't that great. Still a solid card. You get him for getting eight vouchers, and then you'll get a signature series rare tier if you get all 12 for this event. I don't know if this is the last event either. No, uh, I, I feel like they're slowing down a little bit with the content because now we have the Infinity Conquest map. We have the final 11th inning program. I don't know where, what they're going to do as far as events go, but that's the content for the day. You know, we got the Infinity Conquest map all done. We have three new signature series cards. Like I said, we'll probably use those guys or debut those guys when we do the all-time team builds for their respective team. Other than that, we've been posting team builds throughout the week. So make sure you guys go check those out and let me know what you guys have gotten out of your packs. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, drop a like in the video, and I'm out.